After defeating Bowser, we had last seen Mario as he discovered that the key that he had earned from his victory was cursed and would send him far away from the castle. But what horrors await him? Where did he go? Why, out into a bright sunny field, of course. Hey everyone, welcome back to ZZ Plays LP of Super Mario 63. In the last part, we uh, took down, down Bowser, um, and we were warped far away from the castle, and before now, we didn't know where we'd end up. And now we know that we are out in this really bright, sunny, um, not very uh, threatening tutorial level, except for the fact that there are enemies kind of everywhere, but who cares about that? But, um, right now we are given a uh, new inclusion, the first appearance of the Turbo Flood. So, Turbo Flood is an addition to Flood. By pressing C, you can blast forwards with tremendous speeds, making traveling on land and in water quick and easy. And as you'll see, it's not even, it doesn't always have to be in water, it can be on water, like this. You just run along the top surface of the water and maybe rip off Sonny the Hedgehog, but not really. <laughs> it's really quite your choice. So we just have to, um, I've done this part before, you have to use the turb, you need to use the turbo flood to, uh, um, to get down and press that switch right there. And, um, I just feel like, um, both in this game and in the original Super Mario Sunshine that the least useful of the three nozzles, on uh, secondary nozzles in that game and, um, all the nozzles in this one, the Turbo Flood was probably the least useful. Um, it was, uh, it's, uh, it has its uses, uh, it, but it's mainly just cool and utilitarian and makes it go fast. Um, it, for the sole purpose of going fast, you could almost just, like, uh, dive and use the Hover Flood, because I think we, I've shown you before that that's a good way of boosting across. It's not quite as fast, but it, it works, and besides, I believe that overall, the, uh, the Hover Nozzle is a lot more useful. So, I don't know, there, there's that. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna show a thing later where they, where they try to, um, play off on the Hover Nozzle, or I mean, sorry, the Turbo Nozzle is necessary in some area, and you're gonna see it very soon, but, uh, I feel like, of the three, it's not, it's not very useful. But, that's just me. It is very cool, and we'll, and we'll see something later. Uh, the, the third and final, um, Flood Nozzle is both very cool and very useful. So, uh, we're going to get into that actually very soon, but, uh, I feel like you could actually do this with the Hover Flood. You just take a long jump and, uh, hover the rest of the way, but let's see if we can make this jump. And with more precision, too, because this could be hard or not. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there's a bomb, though. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'll see you when you get that back up there. Stupid the bombs. Alright, we are now back up here, and uh, we can move on to the next area. Alright, now there, this place is littered with enemies. You have to take them out like that. Um, as you know, I just felt like you know, saying that. What? That Goomba didn't even touch me, it was on another ledge. No, thank you, game. You gave me a one-up, I guess, to for my troubles. Let's try to see if we can get this last one and get one more block. Health. Get hit by that shy guy. Nope. Rocket Flood. Okay, this is the third and final um, nozzle that I was talking about. Rocket Flood is the final addition to Flood. Press and hold C to rocket upwards at awesome speeds. Reaching new heights. And... Uh, yeah, when I said that this was the really useful, um, and cool final, uh, nozzle, I meant this one, the Rocket Flood, because, um, this is the one that allows you to, uh, there are many areas in the game, 
or that are completely impossible to reach without the rocket flood. Yeah, it, it lets you climb up really high, and I think it's cool. In addition to um, just being useful, I think it's quite cool. I actually think it's the coolest of the three. Uh, turbo may make you go fast, but this, this makes you go really fast vertically. And I almost feel like the, uh... I almost feel like the, uh... That long jump that we had to make with the Turbo Flood could have been made with both the Rocket Nozzle or the, um, Hover Nozzle as well. Um, but, uh... I don't know, they wanted to, they wanted to give try to make up some use for it, I know. Oh! Oh, okay. <sighs> Gonna have to get back up there, guys. See ya. Alright, back up here. And, um, getting across. Gonna have to grab one of these nozzles. Uh, notice how there are so many, uh, how there are so many hover nozzles all around? I, I'm sure that, uh, the game's developer wanted you to grab one by the time you had to read this sign because um look you had to uh you have to have a uh, rocket nozzle to reach this, this area but what does the sign say oh dear with hover flood you can't reach the next platform but wait you can press shift to switch between the different floods you have collected go on press it no. I'm gonna try to get up there by myself. Alright. No, no, bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Koopas. Okay. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that was impossible. But yeah, just, just press shift, switch to rocket flood, and jump up, and try to get there. Okay, again, here's here's some areas where they want you to use turbo, f turbo flood. I'm not buying it. I think you can... I'm pretty sure you can get across with, with um just the hover flood. Now, if I'm wrong about this, I'm gonna look like a total idiot, but let's give it a shot. No, nope, I'm right. As always. Oh! Eh, not as always. But, uh, you know. It's trying to seem like I know something as a Let's Player. Oh! Oh my goodness, there are, there's crap everywhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Wow. That went so much better than I thought it would. Uh, and I could also, you know, use, um, a rocket nozzle. Okay, uh, let's take this shine sprite. Here we go! Okay, um, yeah, you're probably wondering why that shine sprite was blue. And if, and if anyone's played the original game, they'll know that if the, uh, that when the shine sprite is blue, then that's, that means you've already taken it. You may notice I have um, 18 shine sprites, which is more than I had um, during the previous video at the end. But the reason that that is, is because uh, I actually had taken two more shine sprites since then in a previous recording. And for some reason that recording was lost, like it, um, like the data was corrupted or whatever after I took it. So, um, yeah, it was, it, it was weird. I, I don't know. So I had to, I had to re-record that stretch. But, um, yeah. Um, let's go check out, uh, not outside the castle. Um, I don't know what you're doing, Mario. But, yeah, back to the hall staircase. This is the basement. Uh, the key had to be used to open that, and so here we are. Basement of the castle. Alright, let's get going. There's a, there are a couple toads here. Hello? I heard that there's a hidden door somewhere here. It's a door that almost perfectly camouflages itself against a wall. All you can see is a small outline for the door frame. I'm absolutely sure it's in this hallway, but I can't seem to find it. Don't worry, I'll find it somehow. It would help to move from that one spot, though. <laughs> you? I'm not entering Hazy Maze Cave. No, of course not. I'm not scared. I just don't feel like it. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I'm I'm not actually getting on the Hazy Maze Cave either. I tried looking for a door, but I mean, you see this way up here. This is pretty obviously a sling star we can take. So we're gonna go and get those up to the Castle Secret Star, Secret of the Sky. There are many secrets in this game, aren't there? Uh, just like I guess, just like uh, Super Mario RPG. No, yes, there are many secrets in this game. And such. Alright, so we have to use the rocket flood to try to find eight red coins. Be sure to find them all. Okay. So we've got to find them all somehow. And it's there's gonna be a lot of coolness there. And there's the first one. First one's very easy. First one's always very easy. Because it's in literally the first place you check because, you know, it's there. So there's the second one, but for now. Not until after I need to get all the, the um, star coins. Oh, and one more thing. I think that when I, uh, I think that when I, uh, am done with all this, I'm gonna go back and make one last video where you can find all the star coins. That might come a little after, but, uh, I will probably make sure to do that. If I ever want to come back to this game, there's a third one. Uh, there. Oh, there's one up there. Uh, can I reach it now? Not quite. Oh wait, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Oh, jeez. Well, I see this one right here, so uh, that that other one may have to wait. All right. Uh, let's try to see if we can leap over the wind here. Oh, I can actually just spin through it. Ah, that's the cheater way. That's the cheater way of doing it. Oh, that was... That was weird. Alright. Okay, let's... See. Oh, can I land? I landed on that bird. Oh, my. Wow. That was, uh... You've got to admit, that was skilled. Uh, but... For the life of me, I can't actually get back up there. Oh, that's weird. Oh, there's one right here, though. Can, can the updraft take me? Or do I actually need the rocket nozzle? Okay, I need to go back. Oh, there's one right here? Yes. I'll oh, grab number six. And I am now out of water, so I'm gonna have to pick that up. Um, let's go up for the last two. Land on a bird. I always love doing that, because, like, that's so random to do. But I love how, um... The developer run out threw that in, uh, to um, yeah, to just threw that in as just a fun little thing because it's not even ever really. I don't think you ever actually have to do that. Have I gone over here yet? I probably have. Oh, yep, there we go. Case in point. There's a bird right there. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna quickly run out of water again, aren't I? <laughs> it's going well. At least I'm back up here. Oh come on! Let me take the windy updraft. Uh, I think what this is gonna make me do is uh, use some platforming. Oh goodness. Um. Well, I mean, I think that now where we saw where that was. So I'm going to just cut ahead to where I get it. Alright, there I go. Uh, number seven. Just need to look around and scout around for one more. It's over here? Yes, it is. Alright. Oh, come on, lift back up, get it. Yes! There we go. That's the eight red coins, but, uh... And you saw where the shine spread is, so I'm going to go grab some water and then come back and get it. Alright, we're going to just take it up. Alright! There we go. Here we go! Rather, instead of there we go. <laughs> Alright, Secret of the Sky. I really like that secret course. Um, again, it, again, that was the other one I took care of because it was, it, you could see the blue shine sprite casing. But yeah, I really like that course. It's a lot of fun. Save up. And that is going to be it for me for now. And so, until next time, this has been Zedzy Plays, and I'll see all you guys around.